All righty, y'all. Welcome back to my flat like you stole the page. Sorry about not being on here uh, earlier and not taking you step by step through this crankcase build up here. But as you can see, my crankcase is just pretty near built up and almost ready to start installing the other big parts to it. Uh, I got screwed around, spent all day over at AV, y'all, waiting on some thread, silk thread that is, that they received on, Jan on June the 6th and they can't find it in their warehouse anywhere. So I spent three hours while they ransacked their place looking for it. Anyway, long story short, buddy of mine had some silk thread. You wonder what I need silk thread for? Well, it was holding my crankcases apart. Because what you do is, when you put these mating halves together, you do, you lay it down there with Pookie and gasket seal it, and then you run a little bit of thread all the way down and around this backbone here of the engine, and around the bottom side of the engine there. Uh, Without the thread, I wasn't comfortable putting the engine together, so I just waited until I found some. Had to run, run down a friend of mine who I thought had built an engine recently and had some left over, so I was pretty lucky there. Now, the stage I'm at right now is, I'll grab the camera here and walk you around it. I've got the crankshaft gear installed, not safety. I've got the camshaft gear installed, not safety. Uh, I've got the crankcase halves pulled together with my crankshaft and my camshaft in there. Bearings are all in place. Connecting rods are all built up. You saw that when I built that connecting rod set up up there. Now you can see here, so that we internally time the engine proper, uh, we've got a couple of little timing marks on the crankshaft and the camshaft gear. Now these, these timing marks, uh, interestingly enough, these gears will only go on the respective camshaft and crankshaft in one, one way. The holes are just slightly offset for the bolts, so you can only put them on one way. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to give you a good shot after a review of some of my other videos. I realize you weren't getting to see much of the close-up stuff at all. So anyway, I'm going to point to this with my trusty little cross pin here and show you where my timing marks are. Right here is one. Right here is the other. Right here is the other. Now, what that is for is that times the lift, that times my camshaft, to run and open the intake and exhaust valves in accordance with what the crankshaft determines. Crankshaft determines that by the position of the piston going up and down. Now the connecting rods are, are connected to the crankshaft here. See that? This is uh, this is the right side of the engine, so this will be cylinder number one. This will be cylinder number three. Over here on the left side, uh, we've got cylinder number two and cylinder number four. So anyway, all timing with the engine begins right back here so now what I got to do is I got to go put some safety wire in here real quick and then as you'll recall we built up the accessory case yesterday isn't it pretty we put this little dumpling all together and so it's ready to go on as soon as I have this on as soon as I get my safety wire here I'll come back and show you what I've done after that uh, but hopefully tonight I'm going to get the uh, cylinders installed on here and then I can go home uh, it's about 9.30 right now on uh, the 22nd of July, so I'm only five days or six days away from leaving for Oshkosh. Anyway, <sighs> welcome to my world, y'all. Uh, we'll get this little dumpling going. Y'all stand by. I'll be back in a little bit. Adios.